for us, summer started, at least for, as a landscaper, I would say for me, started in early April, where I could comfortably work in nothing but my long sleeve shirt, and it was still kind of warm to hot. Well, not every day, but for the most part, it was really the start of summer in April. But that's not why I'm making this video. Uh, what I wanted to really talk about is how I transitioned from being obsessed with personal glory and being a full-time athlete to what I am today. I think a lot of it has to do with how things change with time, how the world changes, and just as you get older, I'm not as much interested in personal glory anymore. Um, for instance, when I was training and when I came back here, I started, I got myself unlimited ice, which I still have, I still pay for it, but I don't really use it. Um, anyway, I started doing jumps, uh, my axles started going pretty well, started working on doubles, though I didn't land any. Um, but then I'm like, okay, so this takes a lot of time and energy. And then it got to the point where a work and school needed more and more time. So I invested in that and then had to cut back on skating and then work really took off. So I had to cut back on school, though I still do it. Like I said, I'm taking one class in this semester, um, this coming one, a uh, summer too. And it's just that now, um, it's like when you're older, and this is like if uh, someone's younger is thinking about it. Like when you're young, it's it's very important to establish a pecking order, to know what you're capable of, how far you can go, and you learn all these great interpersonal skills and how to interact with others, how to lead a team, how to work as a team, how to, and also things like perseverance, determination, hard work, discipline, and you know uh, strength under pressure. Uh, all those things uh, sports really teaches you. But as you get older, you start encountering things. It's like, okay, so you have these skills. It's time to use them. And instead of pursuing personal glory, because like at my age, I can get double jumps. But it's like, okay, so I have double jumps, but do I have a house? No, I don't have a house, but I have double jumps, right? I mean, that's the hypothetical I'm saying. So at this point, I would rather in a year be able to say, okay, well, I bought a house. And then rather than say, okay, I invested that time and energy and I got my double jumps. You see how that works? Anyway, uh, I do though really love skating. And like I was saying, it's no longer about personal glory for me. I'd rather invest in my students. So whenever I have free time, I'm like, I, w I actually give time to my students where it's like, you know, they take private lessons from me. But if I have additional time to give, I give it away to them. And, you know, I don't even charge for that. And that's not like a new thing that I invented. That's actually how I got here. Um, probably the biggest reason to my success, what I've accomplished, was the fact that so many of my coaches gave me additional time. And that's always been huge. All my coaches did that at some point. And if it didn't, I wouldn't have gotten as far as I did. That's just a fundamental because there's no way I could have paid for every hour of lesson time that I was ever given. So now I'm just trying to give it back and then build toward the future, basically. Make the world a better place.